Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, excited today for one individual of our company. Uh, Mr. Ron Polger is uh, here with me today, and he's uh, this is his last day at BD Floors after in excess of 45 years. It just sounds unreal to have uh, been that long. Um, I've, I've been here for 30, so you yeah, add another 50% to that. That just seems unbelievable. Um, and you know, as far as long as I've been here, you worked here longer than anybody that I know. So there should be a reward for that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, some sanity now. I don't know. <laughs> I know. My goodness. It's just, it, it's just crazy to think back 30 years when I started here and how integral you were in the, in the production side of the business back then. And at that time, you were kind of second in charge. And, uh, you know, what was it like the 15 years before I started? What did you start doing when you started at BD Floors? Well, a, a little background. Um, I was a very early starter at things in life. So I started here at BD, um, a, a union shop uh, at 20 years old. I had already been installing with my brother contract for three years before that. So I, I started in the trade at 17. And the unique thing with working with Searle, with my brother, our work was almost entirely um, high-end residential and um, high-end uh, wool carpeting, Axminsters, all that kind of thing that a lot of guys never see in their entire career. So when I started here at 20, um, first time at a union company, I was already taken on as a journeyman. And uh, Carl Schmidt was the dispatcher at the time. Uh, he'd been at the company already quite a while, and he did a long tenure here. He was he was a legend in his time as well. And um, Carl would come to the jobs regularly, so he would stop by. And early on, he saw that what I could do was a bit unusual for a guy my age. So uh, that opened up opportunities for me because shortly after I started here, I was given the chance to begin running jobs and that kind of thing. Uh, the work that we did back in the mid 70s and early 80s was similar, but there were a lot of differences. Mm -hmm. Modular flooring had not been introduced yet. So pretty much everything we did <clears throat> was based on roll goods, whether it was broad loom or sheet goods and vinyl. So the difference between then and now is that on job sites, it meant a lot more moving. We did occupied office space then as we do now, but it was a completely different ball game then because everything you <clears throat> everything that you did, all the furniture you moved was quite the production because you had to move it over at least 12 feet yeah. to get your first piece in. And then of course you had to identify all the furniture so that when you put it back, people could go to work the next day. Yeah. Well now it's it's a different ball game because of carpet tile, because of LVT. It's much more efficient. Um, I wouldn't say a lot easier for the guys. It's still a hard job, but yeah. they're not moving as much furniture. So it's a lot more streamlined. Yeah. So um, that's one significant change that I've seen. Uh, another one was in the style of work that we did uh, early on in, in the early days here. The focus was on three-story apartment blocks. So a lot of um, middle-of-the-road carpet and pad in those apartment blocks. And um, we would do some commercial, some residential, but that we did a ton of that. And the company has evolved since then. We've, we've taken on a bit more uh, complicated work. And no uh, uh, it, it, the ever-changing world that we live in is uh, is quite something. So from multi-residential mm -hmm. to a lot of five-star hotels with fancy Xminster carpets yes. all patterned mat beautifully, the significant commercial projects. Uh, what was your most rewarding project? that you worked on? I had to think a long time about <laughs> that one because there's been so many. Um, <clears throat> in the uh, late 1980s, uh, Whistler was expanding like crazy. And I was thinking about what was a job that was truly rewarding. So Carl asked me, we've got a project coming up called Chateau Whistler. Would you be interested in running that one? And I knew it would be a long time out of town and I had a, an eight-year-old daughter and a one-year-old. So I I spoke to my wife and said, what do you think? This is going to be a long time. So she's all for it. And I committed and we did that job. And in all honesty, I loved it. It was wonderful because uh, we had a great crew. Um, 
we developed a real camaraderie. Yeah. We'd race up there every Monday to see who could get the best room at, at uh, Ray Crompton's cabin. <laughs> and then uh, they, they knew us, uh, they started calling us the Seven Dwarfs because uh, we were, all seven of us would show up at the job at the same time. And we eventually started whistling, uh, you know, whistle while you work when you get there. So it was, it was kind of funny. And then after the shift, the nice thing working up in Whistler is some of the guys had four by fours and that. So we'd go and explore some of the back roads and, it's just a great experience. Thoroughly enjoyed one, well, it. I'd say that was, that was one of the highlights. That is definitely <laughs> one of them. And, and we've been back there to do uh, work since then. And it's, uh, yeah. it was a beautiful project. So, so for 20 years, you were uh, the dispatcher and production manager who attracted a lot of talent. Uh, the hot seat was passed to Steve in 2017, who's been filling a really important role for our company. Is there yes. advice that you could pass on to that department that could make us better? Well, I don't know about uh, what I could say to make us better because in my opinion, Steve is doing a great job. Uh, I, I think he's doing fantastic. So better, not sure about that. But one bit of advice that I would say is that um, years back, uh, I, I developed a program of training that involved our installers and the salespeople in the company and working together as a team and having regular company meetings and installer meetings to bring our people up to speed with the latest um, innovations, sharing information between the departments and just keeping that camaraderie of getting everybody together as a team, as a company. So I would highly recommend that we keep that tradition going and that um, those meetings continue to be just a regular part of BD4. I truly believe that that's one of the things that set us apart from competition is this training program. That's nice advice. Thank you, Ron. Uh, so as of today, you shift into retirement mode. Man, oh man, it's hard to even look at you. I'm so excited That's for so you. Um, but I don't see you watching CNN. I'm saying, what is it kind of what, uh, what's your days in the future looking like? And uh, what do you plan to do with all that extra time? Well, um, you know me pretty well. And like you said, I'm, I'm not a guy who wants to sit around. <laughs> I, I, I like puttering. I like doing things. I like staying active. Um, my eight-year-old and one-year-old are now grown and have their own families and both have recently moved into their own homes. So I've already gotten fairly extensive daddy to-do lists from both daughters. So that's going to keep me busy for a while. Um, yeah. My one daughter's up country in Vernon, so we're going to spend some time there. Nice. And then um, Deanna and her family, they just moved into a home in Cloverdale. So really looking forward to staying busy with that. Um, projects around home and... Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I will stay busy. I'm Wherever the wind takes life. you, I'm sure you'll have a smile on your face. And, uh, you know, the people at BD Floors uh, very much appreciate uh, you and, and certainly your involvement and commitment to this company has been pretty impressive and dedication. And we all wonder what the best part of your career was at BD Floors. Well, tell me it's the last six years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Everything... Every phase that I did here had its own rewards. Yeah. Um, when I was on the tools, I really enjoyed the camaraderie and the variety. I would have to say that floor laying is a really rewarding job in that you're one of the last trades in. You see a huge difference, whether it's on a commercial site, in a home, whatever, from the time you walk in until the time you leave. Right. That part for me was very rewarding when I was on the tools. With dispatch, it was different. A lot more pressure, um, a lot more up, up here, you might say, that you had to deal with things continually changing. What I enjoyed about that was seeing the jobs come together, come to fruition, and being successful on the jobs. Yeah. So um, that was the biggest joy of that part. And then just my, my last little stint here um, was assisting out in the sales department in mentoring one of our new, newer sales people, Vanessa, and that has been very rewarding and enlightening. And it's given me a different perspective of the sales department as well and the challenges that they have that I didn't understand before. So yeah. it really helped to enlighten me in these last days, you might say, uh, that we do have to work as a team and each department has their own challenges. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, you collaborate and you get things done. Yeah. And that's, that's sort of the bottom line. Uh, everything I've done here has had its its challenges and its joys. And uh, I'm happy to have spent the time here. Nice. 
Well, I'm super happy we were able to do today, Ron. Um, you know, we all wish you good health and good good experiences moving forward in your retirement, and it's most deserved, and uh, nobody would question that. And just want to express our uh, sincere appreciation for all that you've done for this company. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks. All, right. all the best to everyone here. It's 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 been a blast. Thanks, man. All right. <laughs> Bye.